What is up guys, Tony here, and today we are doing another Final Cut Pro program with this beautiful program here for editing on the Mac. Um, today we're going to be doing a highly requested video. I mean, when I say highly requested, I've said it before, this is highly, like so crazily requested. Uh, this is how to install Final Cut Pro plugins. Um, I've done videos on how to install Magic Bullet Looks Looks, and that was pretty popular. But man, plugins, I mean, it's a big thing because a lot of people have CC pack or CC packs, uh, editing packs that have plugins in them for Final Cut Pro. Um, and a lot of people have them online for sale or legally, I know. Um, and, you know, it's kind of hard to install them sometimes. Now, nine times out of ten, like my FCP effects, which sells them, see, that's the thing, you know, hint, hint, and Twixter sells them, um, their, their plugins tend to have a simple installation process where you hit a uh, executable type file a DMG I believe it is and then you go into the thing and it just installs it but there are a few effects that are not like that for example TKY camera shake effect which I'll be, we'll be doing a video on soon uh, that is one that's a little bit tricky so it's just negative negative or minus out of this thing uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find your effect first your your plugin uh, FCP.co is a great site uh, for you know pl free plugins actually. Uh, my FCP effects, I think it is, or just FCP effects, um, has great discounts, but they are expensive. Um, but they are great plugins. 3D perspective, BPM, great for uh, syncing, and things like that. Um, oh, ma <laughs> I want this so bad. These masking tools. I'm gonna do a tut on it. Look at this field of view. Okay, anyway, I'm just getting on a tangent here. Um, there's also, you know, you can just type in FCP effects and you can probably find tons of crumple pop is another one. There you go. Noise industries. I actually know a few of these, but I just couldn't think of them off the top of my head because I don't use them. Uh, I'm not trying to demean them by saying that. I just don't use them. Anyway, uh, so you can get all these effects. You can also use, you know, the pirate, uh, what, what? No, no, don't use the pirate bay. Anyway, yeah, see, so, you know, all these great effects and, uh, plugins and, you know, some of them, like I was saying earlier, are like this. They're this file. Like like I you know how I had the uh the editing pack? They're all in files like this. And you guys go, what do I do with this file? There's an MOEF. What is this? Do I double click that? I don't know. What do I do? You go into motion templates, you go into uh effects, and you go like this, you go bam, and you drag it in there. It's actually already in there. You you can tell here. See the MOEF and yada yada yada. Basically, you drag that folder into effects. If it's an effect. If it's a title generator, as in, you know, Snowman, which is something stupid. Um, any sort of title generator gets put into the titles. Uh, any sort of effect. Get, I, I already did that. Generators go into generators. Compositions go into compositions. If you're wondering what all these things are, they're basically these things here. These are effects. These are transitions. I, I, I didn't see transition. There it is, transitions. Uh, these are titles. These are generators. And, you know, there's other ones. There's music and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, regardless, um, you basically put it into its appropriate thing. Now, if you don't know where to put it, um, in my editing pack download, it has a text file that says, put this in effects. So, there you go. Uh, if you download it from a site like this and you don't know where to put it in, it's a forum. You can type in which which file do I put it in? Do I put it in effects? And the reason why is because sometimes something that's an effect, for example, oh, like where is it here? Uh, like the lens flares that I have, you know, the lens flare and the the, the light leaks and all those things. Uh, sometimes they don't go into effects; they go into titles. Why? Because well, it worked out better because you want to move a lens flare around on screen, so that's what you got to do. And that's just how it worked out. Anyway, regardless, that is how you go ahead and install plugins for Final Cut Pro. If you guys have some unique situation, because there's only really two situations with these effects. There's the draggable, like this, and then there's the installer. If you have a unique situation that you do not know how to figure it out, go ahead and comment below. If you're trying to pirate uh, a plugin... Don't ask me for help. I'm not here to help people pirate. Um, not that I, I'm, I'm super against pirating, but I just feel like I, I'm not going to sit here trying to figure out how someone else found a way 
to evade paying for something because every every torrent and every pirate is different and I, I'm not I'm not a master of torrenting sorry uh, so regardless uh, that is how you install the plugins and that is pretty much it that is my tutorial on this many people wanted it and I brought it and like I said if you guys do if this didn't help you go ahead comment below and maybe I'll make a more specific video or maybe I'll just give you a comment that explains things or maybe I'll add you on Skype who knows Anyway, regardless, this is the video that you guys have all been waiting for. Thank you. If you enjoyed it, leave a like rating and subscribe.